introducing at this time, fighting out of the red corner. Record, zero wins, just one loss. 21 years old, a height of 5'9", a weight of 151 pounds. From Kennesaw, Georgia, fighting for Team Aggressive, red corner, His opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Making his debut here tonight in amateur MMA with a record of zero wins, zero losses. 21 years old, a height of 5'11", weight 150 pounds. From Peachtree City, Georgia. Fighting for the American Black Belt Academy, blue corner, Nick Brannon. All right, here we go with fight number two on our fight card. We got Andrew Sams fighting out of X3 Sports, taking on Nick Brandon out of American Black Belt Academy. Nick Brandon's actually a black belt in Taekwondo. Expect some nasty kicks out of him. Yeah, especially for his height, a 5'11". Yeah, he looks ready to go, but Andrew Sams does too. It should be a good fight. This is our first MMA fight of the night. We got three three-minute rounds. Amateur MMA, no punches to the face will be allowed on the ground. Fight goes to the ground and basically turns to a jiu-jitsu fight with punches to the face. And we got Jeff Kemp getting things underway, and Andrew wow. Sam's coming out with a big right hand. Nice. And these men are exchanging. And a big knee there from Nick. Another nice knee, knee, and that one hurt Andrew. And he, oh, a nice head kick. He's got fast feet, too. Yes, he does. There's these men are one. swinging. Oh, a nice front kick. Looked like it caught oh, him on the chin. Andrew Sams lands two right hands there. And another front kick from Nick and a head kick. Man, these guys are swinging. Nice overhand by Andrew. Just missed it. Nice. And Nick Brandon's got some nice kicks, and they're really fast. And he's got really good footwork, too. Yeah, Andrew's face is already lit up. Man, what a fight so far. And a front kick to the face lands by Nick Brandon. All right, he survived the fury of the first round so far. Wow. <laughs> we'll see if they feel each other out now. Short knee from Sam's just misses. Nice over Andrew. Overhand. Yeah, but it just missed. And a hard body kick to Andrew Sam's from Nick Brandon. And you can see Sam's is breathing heavy already. Can you blame him? Yeah, I mean, these guys have been putting on a hell of a pace so far. Good combinations there from Nick Brandon on the feet. I'm surprised that neither one of them has gone for a takedown at all. <laughs> Andrew needs to be careful just walking in like that, though. Yeah, I'm not surprised that Nick Brandon hasn't shot for a takedown, <laughs> being a black belt in Taekwondo. Yeah, fair enough. But Nick just put his hands up next to his head and just walked. Or, I'm sorry, Andrew just walked right into all that. Now Sam's looking for a single leg here, and he might get it. He does. But Nick Brandon rolls him right over. Oh, oh no. kicks. It looked like he was down. Yeah, his knee was down. Yeah, Joe Elmore just went crazy in Sam's corner. Oh, and a nice uppercut from Brandon. Andrews is putting the pressure on now, though, getting him up against the cage. Yeah, let's see how he's Nick. He's got that right knee. He could catch him. Let's see how Nick Brandon's cardio is. Hopefully he didn't blow his wad there in the first exchange. And now Nick Brandon with a takedown, but Andrew and Sam's reversing him. And and they're right here in front of us. Now he's in his guard. 10 seconds left here in this first round. That might have helped out Andrew in the judge's eyes by finishing this on top. I disagree. I got to give that round 10-9 to uh, Nick Brandon. Pretty dominant, and he landed a lot more power strikes, in my opinion, than Andrew Sams did. True. And 
here we go with round number two. Expect both men to be fresh here. We'll see if they continue that pace they had in the first round. Three kicks from Nick so far in this round. Four. Oh, and a front kick lands to the face. Andrews, just Andrews is hurt. It. Andrews wants it to go to the ground, so he's just walking through that. Punches. Yeah, but th there's no technique behind the takedown he's trying to do. Yeah. But he might get it. Other than let's just push it to the cage. And he gets it. That's a big takedown for Andrew Sims. Hey, this is huge for Andrew in this fight. Yeah, he wasn't winning on his feet, so he's got to do something on the ground. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh, but just as I say that, Nick Brandon throws up a triangle, and he might have it. He tur he's turning it into an arm bar. This might be it, ladies and gentlemen. If Andrews can pull out of that. Oh. Andrews is out of it. Very close submission attempt from Andrew Brandon, but now Andrews is passing the half guard here. Let's see what Nick's got. Well, we just saw what Nick has off his back, but yeah, let's see. Was, if that was a decent triangle, but he almost had that arm bar transition. Yeah, let's see if he can get out of this. That's too bad they can't punch in the face yet. Now Sam's basically just lets Nick get back in guard there. He's putting his hand over Nick's face. Nick needs to stay busy here or he's going to lose this round. Andrew's too busy looking at his corner. Uh oh, I know exactly what Andrews is doing. He, he's taking his time. He's on top winning right now. Now he's in the side control. Andrews is in a good position, looking for uh, an Americana there, but almost had that key lock in. He's, 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 he's breathing heavy here. Got it out. And now Nick's got his guard back again. Andrews is too tired to even really throw punches off his back here. Uh, he's going to get swept. And Nick Brandon sweeps in the mount. Right in the full mount. Two, unfortunately, no punches to the face will be allowed here on the ground. Andrews is holding on now. That's a big sweep there for Nick Brandon, though. And he might be getting his back here. Oh, he's looking for oh, the arm bar. For it. What an exciting fight. Can he get this arm bar? He's there got it. it. He's got it. He did a good job unlocking his arms with his heel. Can Andrew. Rolling up. Unbelievable submission defense here by Andrew Sams. He needs to keep turning. He needs to keep going. And that'll be the end of round two. Wow. Look, wow. It looked like Andrew Sams was about to tap right as the bell rang. He's going to be struggling in this last round now. Wow, man, what a fight so far. And here we go. This is our last round. This is going to be an interesting round. Yeah, you never know how the judges will score that second round. The first round was definitely Nick Brandon, in my opinion. A spinning just, back kick. I wonder how Andrew's arms is holding up right now. And Nick is super aggressive. But, oh, and he pulled a guillotine there, but it doesn't even look like he has the choke. That might have been a mistake by Nick. If he doesn't have it, he needs to let go now. I, I, arms out. Maybe I'm wrong, but, yeah, he's out of it. Couldn't really tell from where I was sitting. Andrew's on top. Well, that was not a good start to the round for Nick Brandon. Yeah, but, but he's throwing up a triangle again. Andrew's tired. Andrew Sams is right in front of his corner though, so maybe he can get some, maybe he can get some advice on how to get out of this. Needs to get that rally power going right now. Andrew Sams has already got out of one triangle and, w and one armbar. What, what Nick Brandon needs to do is what he's doing, underhooking that leg, but he needs to get Andrew Sams' arm across his face. That's where you cut off the blood supply to the brain, and that's how you finish that choke. Yeah, but being up against that cage, though, he doesn't have room to buck up and clear it. Yeah, but if he underhooks that leg like he's supposed to, the arm will pretty much go across itself. I wonder if he's going to switch to an arm bar. And he's got it from full mount here, and he's got the arm bar. 
He needs to pull up on his head here. All he needs to do to win this fight right now is get his get Andrew's right arm across and pull up on his head, and this fight's over. Yeah, but Andrew's he's, in a bad spot right now, but it looks like he's wanting to make it an arm And he, Andrew's is about to tap, it looks like. I don't know if he will tap. This fight is so close to Nick for just take away. Looks, he'll win by decision either way, but a finish would look better. And now he's punching to the body, but in my opinion, he just needs to he needs to get that arm across and pull up on his head. And he's easily got control yeah. of that arm. Andrew isn't going anywhere. Andrew's done. He's he's trying to buck out, but that's a tough spot to get out of, even when you're full of gas. Yeah, but you know it's okay. He'll learn from it. And a punch to the arm there, giving him a good old frog. This will also be a learning experience for Nick, too, because he should have finished this fight by now. I'm not sure how long Nick's been competing. In, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he told me he's been competing in jiu-jitsu for about a little over a year or so. But this is going to be looking like he's pushing down on his shoulder. Yeah, this is going to be a unanimous decision victory for Nick Brandon. What a fight and what a debut for Nick. Yeah, that was a good show. Three three minute rounds. Again, another round of applause for both these fighters. Tough fight. All judges scored it 27 30. Winner by unanimous decision goes to Blue Corner, Nick Brandon. Your winner, Nick Brandon.